My name is Cece and I'm just doing this video to give you some tips on photography of dolls on a budget. So I've been doing doll photography since I was around 11 years old. I'm 14, almost 15 now. And I got American Girl dolls um, like around 2017. But before that, the dolls I used were mainly My Life As dolls and Our Generation dolls. Now, the thing about these dolls is a lot of people will call them fake American Girl dolls. 18 inch dolls have been around for a long time, so just ignore all those. Dolls are dolls and we're all in the same community, and it is a niche community. But when you use other brands of dolls, it becomes even more niche. Like there's this whole thing about American Girl dolls, it's like weird and elitist. And I do kind of understand that now that I do have one, but they're very photogenic. But so are my life as dolls. And I feel like I'm gonna get another generation doll because I really wanna experiment with those. And the thing is, my last art generation doll I got when I was about nine or 10 years old and I had no idea how to take care of their hair and she is in horrible condition. So I plan on getting a different art generation doll and working with it because I think they're beautiful. But I know that when I post those to my Instagram, I'm gonna get less likes on them probably a few comments. But also the Our Generation community seems to be beautiful and every person I've met in the Our Generation photography community is super sweet. They are beautiful dolls and I personally like them a lot. Well, I know like a lot of people don't, I really do love them and they're very photogenic I feel like if mine's looked good. <laughs> mine's was in horrible condition. I had no clue how to take care of doll hair all poofy and terrible and plus another thing is like I overstyled our hair which made it super poofy and in horrible condition. Another thing is I use a super cheap camera it's just my phone camera and it's super low quality but I work with it and it's one of those things where you can learn to work with anything cheap and make it look very nice, very classy, very high-end. Well, not necessarily, but you know what I'm saying. I only use free editing software and stuff. But as I get older and get more money, I can definitely like work towards that to get better quality stuff like a camera, some lights maybe, and an editing program. For right now, I'm just working with preset stuff my phone camera and also Instagram editing or maybe some other editing stuff maybe from like built into my phone even and that's all right and it's something that you're gonna you're gonna be a beginner at some point and you'll learn and over time you'll maybe save money and you'll improve but when you're at this end of the spectrum of course of like skill I mean you get to that point where it's again more niche and not many people will follow you or anything but remember don't be in this for fame or anything like that if you're doing this for follows or for views or with the intention of being as famous as basil mentos or something like it's a really unrealistic expectation and while it's good to aim high it's another thing if you're in it and you'll be disappointed and you'll give up because she didn't wake up one day and say, I'm gonna make a YouTube channel and instantly get like all her subscribers. It took her years and years and years in improving and working hard and then she got to where she is. You also have to be very creative. So your own clothes, make your own sets and make sure um, like when you have bad lighting, like I'm using a really bad lamp right now. <laughs> it's outdoor lighting. It's free and it's amazing and the best lighting you can get. Some dolls will work better with you than other ones. They, this doll right here, um, number 53, she's extremely photogenic. I do very well with her. However, some people have found difficulties um, taking pictures of her. Some dolls just don't work for some people. I know exactly what angles and stuff to work with her. I also have a Pleasant Company Samantha doll, which I don't have a clue what to do with her my main doll that I take pictures of and she's beautiful and photogenic and that's just something that is gonna work for you and that's something you gotta be experiment with is especially brands of dolls some people I used to be really into taking pictures of Barbie dolls lip dolls especially when I was younger and 
those worked for me and as I got older I kind of lost being able to take pictures of those. Now it would work way better with 18 inch dolls especially number 53 for American Girl. Hence this doll. This is kind of my test run of YouTube and I'm not sure if this is going to be good or anything. But thank you for your time and I'll leave links in the description on my Instagram as that's what I'm active on and what I put most of my effort into. This is kind of a side thing I'm trying to work on. I was trying to have some fun with and maybe help some kids trying to learn no matter what age you are. If you have questions please ask and I'm always free to talk on Instagram and stuff. If you have any questions or want some tips, I'm there even though I'm rather amateur at this whole thing too. I'm really rediscovering dolls after a while of growing out of them and this is all kind of, kind of help learn with me on this channel. So bye, thanks for watching, thank you for your time. For more content, subscribe and follow my Instagram. The worst video you'll ever find, it's so unprofessional. Bye.